what is up you amazing person watching this video right now today i'm gonna be reacting to jujitsu kaisen season 2 episode 1 i've seen season 1 i've seen the movie itadori yuji was the first season zero was a year before what happened with itadori the only thing that i didn't really like that i wasn't really keen about was the fact that they were going back in time again i was hoping to see itadori in this one again and just the whole gang but it's fine because from what i see in the poster and stuff it looks like they're doing the jumping into gojo's backstory gojo's one of my favorite just things that happen between him and ghetto i think at jujitsu high i'm not really sure i'm gonna jump into it today and find out so this is fresh for me let's do this here we go jujitsu kaisen this almost seems like Gojo talking. Oh no. The thing about this anime is it just hits me straight. I keep saying it about most of the good ones, but it hits me straight in the field. Look how beautiful this is. It's absolute, it's literal art. And you get to watch like a Picasso in motion. This is Ghetto, it must be. Yes, because remember Ghetto can absorb it, right? It's like swallowing a dirty rag that's been used to clean up shit and vomit. Wow. Crazy. Because remember, he had he runs that whole thing where he absorbs the people's curses. That's what he was doing, I think, in the first season. Wow, look at this. They've got like an actual handicam, like in those ghost movies. Mad cow disease. Wow. Already, I'm just so absorbed. But they can. Internet. <laughs> this chick looks like um, Valma from Scooby Doo. Did you overcharge them again? But I mean, think about it. You're going in to these places that are absolutely dangerous. You should be getting paid the highest. Jitsu Kaisen. Emerge from darkness, blacker than dark. Wow, no veil. Isn't it the fact that, like, really strong curses, you can't even sense them, like, with Saiyan or, like, with those, with Goku them? They would, they can suppress their energy and they can hide. Rubbish. Mason. That's the thing, when all these crazy things start happening, you, you just, it's up and run. Get out. Leave it. Leave the suitcase. Leave your favorite t-shirt. Leave the favorite hat. Whoa, the animation already in this season. And it's just opening. Wow, it looks insane. This is why I love this show. Wait, what is that? Still has electricity. That umbrella looks like it could be a cursed weapon. This music is so eerie. Giving me like the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> And there you got the blood splatter. There's this game called Phasmophobia, and it feels like I'm playing that. You don't know what's behind the next door. Oh, someone hang hung themselves? A noose. <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna get the jump on you before you get the jump on me. But the thing is, wait, what? Why does that room look so clean? Oh no, I take it back. Oh, the door's closing. Checking under the bed, just, that's the scariest. Now you see like five eyes. Oh, just three rats. <laughs> Which some would say is scarier than the ghosts. I freak out. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I felt that. <laughs> you got startled all on your own. This is the first floor. What? I know I entered the room at the end of the hallway. Oh, she's placing items mentally to know where she's going, like markets. Oh, so the the place itself is probably cursed, or the, the curse is imbued in it. Wow. Wow, I can already... Oh my goodness. This is why the people probably could never leave. Because they're just trapped in an endless loop. Wow. She's got the Apple Watch on. Those are manifestations of the spirit's mindscape. That's what I was saying. They were trapped in that. Because you're running and you're running and you're running and you're running. Interesting, so it's a weak spirit. Oh, so because it's a weak spirit, it relies on the barrier Utahima. Utahima, that's her name. So she's Mei and she's Utam Utahima. 
Oh, so she's... Oh, so she's like really good with math and calculating how things are logically. Very interesting. Patching spaces together. And then at some point just turn or something. You'd catch that. Okay, I see. You'd catch that place that it's trying to manifest and literally break the, qu the quantum realm. <laughs> we do so in opposite directions at the same time. Oh. Wow. Crazy. Expecting a promotion. Promotion to Scream Queen. <laughs> Wasn't Toto talking something about the Scream Queen in season one? Like he wanted to go see her, the new Scream Queen at the mall. That's why he was busy. Oh, there it goes. Whoa. Oh my goodness. That looked like she jumped out of a bookshelf. Wait, did the whole thing just collapse or is this how it always looked is that gojo <laughs> let's go man i know i can't are you crying i know i can't show it but the opening was wow amazing they've got the best opening first grade may 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 oh ghetto so it's Mei, Shoko, Utahima, Ghetto, and Gojo. One that messes with time. Interesting. <laughs> She's just trying to get that bag. Gotta get my bag and run. Oh, is that the principal? Oh, wow. So that's why you conceal it. Because it will feed off of their panic, essentially. Because remember, like, Gojo was the one in season one who kept, who actually introduced the domains and stuff. Did he not? And now, before, he was actually asking why should it even be done. Wow, Gojo had a completely different attitude back here. I wonder if it was because of Ghetto changing that made him also rethink the things that he was that he basically says. Oh wow, let's go. The mission is being assigned to you two. Oh, yeah, they were just about to tear each other to shreds. Now they have to work together. Tengen, sama. Your mission has two goals. Escort that girl and erase her. What does that mean? Oh, the next principle. Already there's a lot happening. Possesses the cursed technique of immortality, but is not eternal youth. Wow. He'll cease to be human and become a higher form of existence. Wow. Those who reach the state of being have no will. Whoa, interesting. Without the aid of his power, we can hardly maintain security or clean up after mission. Every 500 years, he finds the star plasma vessel. Assimilates them. What does that mean? Does he kill them? Or do they voluntarily offer themselves? The star plasma vessel's location has been leaked. So is this the, the girl that was in the bar? Pan vessel, vessel Association. This is so interesting. It's crazy how in the first season you wouldn't have thought it would go this deep. I almost feel like this is more like than what they gave us before. Like I'm am to see exactly what they're talking about. I don't remember if they even discussed Tengen in first season. Maybe I'm completely forgetting, but this is interesting. This is good. <gasps> oh my goodness. Combatant Koken. But that was a massive grenade. Or well, not even grenade. That was like C4. And how did she survive? Oh, these are probably... Okay, wait, what? So these are the combatants from Q. Set some rules. For going overboard. Let's go. Gojo is so strong. Zenon. 
I took my wife's name. Fushiguru. Is that what? I forgot his name now, but is that his dad? Whoa, what a crazy good episode. Jujutsu Kaisen has already set it off. I'm so um ah, okay. Next, I think next week, Tuesday, I'll do it a double episode. But that's you know, that's just for me personally. Crazy. So already we're seeing all these different aspects of in season one, all this sort of rich backstory, rich history. And I'm super am to see it especially that fight with gojo because i want to see did he become strong like afterwards or was he always like that because now when you see in in season one it just seems like you can't fight him and if he appears it's like you you're already done for it's very interesting to see we met the whole sort of their whole class i guess which was i'm probably gonna butcher this but it was shoko utahima mei ghetto and gojo so that's interesting to see that I like I already like the banter between everyone. That's pretty cool. You can already see that Ghetto had these strong ideals. So it's interesting to see what leads him to change over to how we see how he is now. And is has that got to do with the fact that he has to absorb all these curses the whole time? Very interesting stuff. I'm super amped. If you want to watch me react to all of Jujutsu Kaisen season two, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification. But every Tuesday is gonna be JJK day hit the like if you like this video i might hit the like myself and but that's gonna be it for me jjk season 2 episode 1 i'm out peace in a bit